Marin, the CHP cruiser had to be towed out of a ditch after it ran off Highway 1 near Tamales. It's a good reminder that everyone needs to be extra careful on the roads right now. Farther north, they're keeping a close eye on the wildfire burn zone. KPI x Wilson Walker in the Fountain Grove area of Santa Rosa this evening. Wilson? Well, Alan, this is one spot where it's not so much about rainfall totals over the next 24 hours, but how fast those totals add up or just how intense is the rainfall. Now, the good news here is that six months has been enough time to get just about all of the debris out of here. So, you know, most of the lots are what in what you might call the late stages of getting cleaned up. And that means most have seen some erosion control efforts. Now, I just spoke with the fire department. They think the work they've done should be enough to prevent any big, you know, landslide type of problems tonight. In fact, they might be even more worried about the small scale runoff from these lots. Here is Assistant Fire Marshal Paul Lowenthal. So that's why you'll see a lot of these gravel bags and grass waddles around our uh, hillside community and in Coffee Park. Um, they're there to protect our waterways. They're there to, you know, to keep the, the, the runoff, the, the silt, the sediment, and the soils from impacting our, our creeks and our storm drain systems and creating any issues downstream. So what are emergency officials watching for tonight? Well, they tell me the real serious problems, land just giving way and sliding, generally happens when rain starts falling at the rate of one half inch per hour, okay? One half inch per hour. Now, they currently do not expect that rate of rainfall, but of course things could change. Now, in a nice bit of timing, they just finished work on a network of 10 rain gauges across this burn area specifically to monitor for this type of event. So that's what they'll be doing in real time tonight, watching those 10 rain gauges, watching the rate of the rainfall. If it gets close to a half inch per hour, yeah, you might have some problems, but at the moment they don't expect that and they'll just be keeping an eye on it all night. We are live in Santa Rosa. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. Well, the storm is also pounding the Sierra, where the Truckee River is rising this evening, and it is expected to crest just below flood stage in downtown Reno tomorrow afternoon. Some areas along the river could see minor to moderate flooding. Just minutes ago, Yosemite Valley closed to visitors due to flooding concerns there. All reservations through tomorrow have been canceled in the valley. It's unclear exactly when it will reopen, but rangers are just going to wait for the storm to pass.